everyone's crazy creatures. I caught this snake in my garden. Well, my mom found it, but she didn't know what to do with it. So she called the local snake whisperer. That's me. <laughs> We called this video Garden Snake because we caught the snake in the garden. But it's not a garden snake, it's called a garter snake. But many people will still call them garden snakes. And if you don't believe us, look up Garden Snake on Google. But Google won't bring you to Garden Snake, it'll bring you to Garter Snake. This one is a baby because it is absolutely tiny. I've also caught a baby garter snake in the past, but it was nowhere close to as friendly as this one. It was biting me like crazy. This one, when I even try to get it to bite, all it does is move his head. The worst he's done to me is poop on me. Okay, well, show more of them. Open your hands so we can see more of them. When he pooped on me, he got on me. He got on some hands on himself. We've talked about what garter snakes eat, where they live, and what their habitats are like. But we've never talked about how social they are. Unlike most snakes, which are not social at all, unless it's mating season, you can sometimes find small groups of garter snakes just hanging out somewhere. And on even rarer occasions, like when they're going into hibernation, you can find large groups of garter snakes, sometimes even into the thousands. And garter snakes are lucky that they don't have to worry about social distancing like we do in this COVID-19 thing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures. Now we're going to let him go into the lettuce I planted for Fluffy and me because I like lettuce. You want to eat some lettuce? No? Fine, then I'll eat some. I'm a tortoise.